Hey all, welcome back. We are now going to be working on setting cues to variables and then making decisions based around those variables. So to get started, we have to uh, update some data to make the variable uh, inst you know, first. So the first one is going to be sales. It's going to be pretty easy because we're going to actually replicate this to the other, other two. Uh, we're going to go and go into the toolbox, go to data, uh, go update data. And in here, there's a few different ways you can do it. You can actually do it uh, by queue, uh, or you can do string. We're going to go ahead and do it in queue because that's a pretty, that's a basic form, and it's really just flow dot queue. You can make it whatever you want. That variable is up to you know the developers that build this. However, you guys want to do it within your business. I'm going to go ahead and make it queue, and then I'm just going to drop down to sales. So I'm going to replicate this also in the other ones, and this one is going to go here. Going to update data. Going to remember to switch the value. Going to support. Uh, we're also going to do that here. Update data, and then this is going to be for billing. Now, granted, uh, this one essentially is going right into billions. But what you can do here, so there's that queue. You actually can switch this to expression, and now you're doing flow dot queue. And so that's how that's able to then do it. It takes whatever the the path has been updated with, and then that's what it flows to. So we're going to be doing that throughout the throughout all of these here. So you can kind of see here. And so flow.q, where this really gets um, where this really helps with is when you are pulling information from data tables, which we'll get into. Uh, I know that's going to be a later module, but uh, and it's just going to be touched lightly. We're going to really touch that on the admin portion of it because of the managing around all of that. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here, flow.q. And so now you are now using a variable that's set within uh, in the call flow in order to actually set that. So in the very end, then you're able to kind of do some things around that. Uh, and that is where we're going to get into the error handling piece. So obviously, uh, the error handling is what really allows us to check to see if there's agents on queue, but also which voicemail to transfer that to. Um, so as we go through here, I'm going to go ahead and rename this. This is just going to be uh, error handling now for sales. Uh, and we're going to do a little bit around this just to um, allow us to route a certain way. So obviously the agents on queue right here, that's, uh, that's gonna play whatever message it's going to play. And then what we want to do is we wanna do off of logical, we wanna create a switch. And so this allows us to do uh, a few different things. And I'm gonna go ahead and make these expressions for all three of these, just so happens that we need to have three. And flow.q, equals uh, sales and we're gonna we have to put hyphens around that and now what you can do is just copy so you can kind of see what I'm doing here now we're looking and the, it's going to say, hey, which one is it? it what, what queue is this supposed to be tied to? You're able to do flow.q here. Um, for sales, it's the first one. So we can actually click and drag this one. If it is, it's going to transfer to the sales queue. I'm going to go ahead and clear my clipboard and copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and put this here and here. And so the second one, if you look at it, the second one is for support. So we're going to go ahead and do support. And then the third one is for billing. So we're going to do billing. And I dragged this up a little premature, but it kind of helps because you're able to just drag it back down. So um, this does two things. By default, it's going to go to sales. By uh, case one, um, you're going to have it go to you're going to have it go to sales as well. So I, I might even drag that down a little bit because when we think about it logically, between sales, billing, and support, if for whatever reason it defaults or errors out, we want it to go to support. So let me go ahead and drag that back up and drag support back down. And obviously you have to make sure it's right over the arrow. 
And there you go. So for case two, which is support, it'll go to supports voicemail. If it defaults for some reason, if it does, if it comes in without a queue for whatever reason, it's still going to be a happy fail path and go to support for voicemail. And then obviously billing and sales. We do have that disconnect still there. You know, granted, we could go ahead and, and do it after hours menu, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave those. The nice thing about this is now you're able to go to billing. You're able to take this reusable task and do, take and put this to air handling now. So let me go to the other one. So you see the support air handling, air handling. And I believe, do we have that? No, those are just disconnects. So the other ones now are going to the same air handling one. We're able to now get rid of and delete the support one as well as the billing one because now we're using variables in order to make the call flow a little bit more fluid. So you can kind of see that it can really clean things up when you are using variables to, uh, in this example, to set up queues. Uh, because now you're only having to use one task to kind of do a switch and, and perform different actions based on, um, in this example, what queue it's going to go to. So remember, this is just a basic one of using variables and decisions. It can get much more intricate um, if you have a data action or if you have a, a data table that has several columns and you're making multiple decisions based off different columns or different rows. Um, it can get pretty intricate. Uh, in this one, this just makes sure that you understand the elements to that, how to make those decisions, how to how to help with the flow, how to make sure that um, you know you don't you need three use, reusable tasks. You only need the one to handle it as long as you're able to kind of use the data to uh, bend to your needs. Um, go ahead and keep practicing through this. Make sure to save, make sure to validate and publish, uh, and we'll see you on the next hands-on.